All right, welcome to this episode, if you want to call it that, of Zook Outdoors. Uh, come along, and this is an exciting hunt with my 12-year-old son. Uh, a lot of uh, learning things to learn. Um, you know, one of them is that I need to back off as a dad. I feel like I've taught my son all that he needs to know, and he is ready to be on his own. And as you'll see in the video, uh, when his buck came in, it was in the wide open for me and behind a little, some leaves and maybe some twigs for him and I kept telling him to shoot and so he executed the shot and he did well um, but I need to learn just to be quiet do my job as you know an adult um, going with him uh, for his buck uh, it was very exciting I called it in and he just you know he, re he read the script as you say um, he came in just perfectly and I just needed to keep my mouth shut but nonetheless it was great it was a good outcome and I think you're gonna enjoy what you're about to see well it's the morning of October 28 and I wanted to be in Ohio this morning and my son with Ohio tags didn't want to get up at 1 o'clock in the morning and drive out so I'm hunting about an hour from home with my oldest son here in Pennsylvania start out the morning here and I don't know if I'll get to Ohio for the evening hunt or not. It's overcast and it's warm. It's like 60 degrees. It was awfully hot getting in this morning. Um, I hung a set. I have a camera here that had a nine point goodbye yesterday. So I don't expect him to show up today. I think he was just traveling, looking for does. Let's see how my son's making out down there. He's getting a crossbow ready. set up the edge of the ridge. Guy down over from the top on a bench. Hoping that, you know, me a buck run this bench. Just down over from the top, you can see this bench on the side of the hill here. And that's what we're hoping um, the deer run in. We're kind of right on top of it, so I think I'm going to tweak this stand before next year. Get off of it a little bit. Saw that buck down there and grunted at him. I got him all fired up. He was scraping, he's rubbing a tree. He is fired up. Let's see if he comes up the hill to us. Shoot. Do you 
an opening where he's headed. Get your, this your safety off. Okay, shoot him as soon as you can. Tell my son to shoot and shoot. And he shot. The deer's just standing over there, so not sure if he hit him or not. Well, there's my son's buck. Um, not sure what went wrong, but he's just it looks like he hit him behind his shoulder, but it must be a little bit low. things happen you feel horrible as a dad or um, as a mentor um, but I called that deer up to us up the hill up the ridge and he was only like 15 20 yards away it was in the wide open for me and I couldn't believe my son wasn't shooting I'm like shoot him shoot him shoot him I couldn't take it and he had a little bit of brush blocking his view. He couldn't see him real good. And so he shot, because I was coaxing him to shoot. And that deer ran a little bit, stood there for a while. And then he bedded down. Then he got up and he bedded down again. And the second time he bedded down was 45 yards. And I had a tiny little opening. So I watched him for a while and then I was like, hey, We'll try and shoot him in that little opening, um, but that didn't work. Just missed him. So I'm not sure. He ran a little bit, and I could hear leaves either fell over or he laid down and slid or something. So just give him some time. Um, I should have trusted my son's judgment on why he wasn't shooting. He's he's 12. He knows what he's doing. So, it's exciting. Um, not, a, not a huge buck, not a big buck, but it's a nice late pointer. So now we have one arrow yet, um, and it's a little bit after nine, so I think we're gonna wait at least till 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Maybe at 9.30 we'll get down and find his first arrow. And then go to where he was bedding, where we shot at him the second time. And then just kind of look for him from there. Look at the sign. We're going to 
gonna start working, getting our things down, and then uh, go find his arrow and look at the sign, see if we can find his buck. Well, we got down. Uh, Caleb went and got his arrow. It's got blood. Um, anyway, we're gonna just let my pile of stuff here. Gonna go get on the trail. Um, he's gonna get the crossbow loaded up with the last arrow and see if we can find his buck. Um, if he's still alive, maybe we can sneak close enough and get it. So we'll see. Well, um, you can see all this, but it just got here to the bed where he was laying and we took the second shot um, and shouldn't have, but there's a lot of blood here. So we heard him um, after he ran down over the ridge here, over the hill, we heard him sliding in the leaves. And we're hoping he fell over dead. So we're gonna sneak down that way and see what we find. Hey, you feeling pretty happy? Yeah. I just spied the deer and I think he's dead. Let me zoom in on him. But Caleb has his crossbow loaded. But down there, you can see a patch of hair. So we were following the blood and he did a 90 degree turn and lost the, lost the blood. So I was trying to find the blood and I noticed over by this one tree, some flies buzzing around. So I came over and before I, and I noticed the blood, but before I got to it, I spied him and I could see tracks stumbling down this hill and we heard him do that. And I see a patch of hair down there. So Caleb, you go first. You see him? Yeah. All right, you go first. And just be careful. Be ready if he's alive, okay? Mm -hmm. I told him to sneak down towards his buck and be ready if he moves to shoot him again. So I think the deer's dead. I think he died over an hour ago. Um, we just gave it a lot of time, but I think he's got him, so this is looking very, very promising. That deer, he's dead as can be. His head's flat on the ground. His ear hasn't moved to the sound of our footsteps. So, he's about to go check out his buck. gonna have a our job cut out for us to drag him out. That's for sure. Flies are on him. He's been dead a while. But we decide to play it safe. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, you got him. Well, we're going to have to drag him out, but for pictures, might as well pull him on down to that road, that old logging road. Oh, he's unloading the bow. I just came down here below the deer, and he slid down that bank. There's his old head. Yep, I called him up over this hill and and uh, he rubbed it in running down here to die. All right, well, Caleb's gonna tell the story again. We pulled him down here out of that nasty brush pile and yep, I'll let him take it from here. Well, we came out here on this ridge top hoping to get a chance of a nice spot passing through. We figured they'll come right on the trail that goes right below our tree stand. But my dad saw these two, saw two bucks down here and he got in and called and this one came up the bank and yeah, soon I saw it coming and there was these blocking the path but I still was able to make a killing shot. He didn't run 
terrible far and then he well he walked actually and then he bedded down and then he got up and then he bedded again well we saw him bed two times and then we took another shot at it and he ran down the bank and we heard some sliding we weren't sure exactly what will happen but we decided to play it safe and waited for an hour or so and we went looking for it and I was ready with the crossbow in case it was still alive but we soon saw a patch of brown and came down and there was my buck dead. Alright, congratulations. Yep, well we gotta get them gutted, tagged and out of here. Flies are after them and yeah, it's just a beautiful October day. Yep. Very good. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not already done so, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. And we'll bring you some more content every week, at least here for a while. Stay tuned.